Thank you so much for taking the time to meet with us. Yeah, man. It's good to see some black folks in the room. Hey, I'd like to keep it 100. Well, uh, it's an exciting time in Hollywood. The Renaissance is here, and we want to be a part of that. We're looking for stories that are different, inclusive, authentic, and fresh. Mm -hmm. We're looking to partner with producers who have a unique perspective and are interested in telling untold stories. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what y'all got? OK, <clears throat> well, we all know how well the Creed franchise did at the box office. Ryan Coogler, what a guy. And wow, Moonlight, what a film. Am I right? So. Here's what we're thinking. There's this fighter, Tyrell, lovable underdog. His father was the heavyweight champion of the world, but he died before Tyrell was born. Tyrell has got boxing in his blood. He seeks out his father's retired trainer to mentor him, but the trainer is homophobic, and here's the twist. Tyrell is gay. It's Moonlight meets Creed meets the help. <laughs> Sound like it's gonna be trash. Oh, yeah, I, actually, yeah, that is, you know, I was, these are thoughts, we, nothing set in stone. What kind of movies are you into? <clears throat> Honestly, I like old movies. Ah, like Boys in the Hood, Menace to Society. Actually, I was thinking more like Porgy and Bess, Citizen Kane. Oh, of course. Yeah, if it's in black and white, sign me up. I like newer stuff, too. The Last Black Man in San Francisco. <sighs> I love that film. I've never seen a movie like that before. Me either. When I really sank into that, I was like, this is brilliant. And poetic at the same time. Yeah. You could tell it came from a real place. The best stories do. You ever been to New Art Theater? Yes, I love that spot. I always go to the midnight screaming. Yeah, me too. Just wish they had bigger seats. <laughs> well, you need a little more leg room than the rest of us. <laughs> you know, I'm not supposed to, but I always try to park behind us. <laughs> or, you know, I've been taking a lot of these meetings. It's the first one I actually like. Oh. Uh, hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear that we're a step above the rest. Yeah, man. You know, everybody's trying to say the same <laughs> now. Everybody's trying to do the, the first black man to make it up out the hood. Everybody ain't trying to hear that. Yeah, well, we need our real stories that have a voice and bring the audience into a world they've never seen before. I still got a couple of these meetings left to take, so, you know, I'll make my decision soon. Yes, wow, well, we will be waiting with bated breath. I'm sure you will. So are y'all in an open situation, shit? I ain't in with her. Yeah, but you're tripping over your own feet to answer her FaceTime call. That's because your floor is uneven. <laughs> Whatever. Just stop bringing random girls to my house. Don't be jealous. Please, I'm actually in an adult relationship. You wouldn't understand. It's not just about sex. It's based on emotional intimacy, communication, and growth. That sounds exhausting. Well, that's what it means to be in a relationship. Nah, that's what it means to be in your relationship. Excuse me? I just feel like every time I look up, y'all either talking about y'all feelings or watching Animal Planet. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just feel like if I'm gonna be in a relationship, I want it to include matching short sets, Philly cheesesteaks, and sweaty sex every day. <laughs> You're ridiculous. You want to see me? I need to get my life in order. Me too. What? Nothing. Uh, I have some uh, older manuscripts lying around my home office that are very important to me. I need them scanned and saved to my laptop. I, I got you. I thought we could just go to Pornhub and try to find the missionary category. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. I'm looking forward to getting kinky again tonight. You got me there like three times last night. Totally fine. I take people there all the time. Off hours, consensually. When... So you ready for the meeting with Quintrell? Yes. Yeah. I hear he's big on inclusion, so he'll be happy to see a woman of color in the room. What do you mean he's big on inclusion? He's black. I just meant he really supports it. Well, of course he does. I'm sorry, am I saying this wrong? No, I just think it's weird that you would say a person of color is big on inclusion. That's like me telling somebody, oh, I'm really big on women's rights. I know you love me, Michael, I do. 
And yes, I love you. I wouldn't be standing here if I didn't. But sometimes, love is about timing. We have to let it go. We have to let it be. We can't raise this baby. I love you. But this, this is not our time. Afraid of getting my heart broken again. Hearts were meant to be broken. I'm sure you've broken your fair share. I've had my heart broken, too. You're right. Who broke your heart? I gave my child up for adoption when I was in college. Oh, sh I'm sorry. It's okay. I would have been a terrible mother.